Welcome back everybody, this is CNS Gaming, this is episode 15 of Willamina Forest. So, if we take a look at our bales, we are at 72% fermenting, so maybe they'll be ready today, probably tomorrow. But, one thing, if we jump up, where is our production? There it is. So, if we look at this, it has already ran through all of our um, wood chips. It went through them super quick, and we have 1,988 liters in there, plus four pallets out here, so that's a total of five, almost six pallets of paper, so not bad. If we check again, I forget what I did say that the max price for this was. Let's see here. We can find paper on here. There we go. So the max price, 1500 Right now it is 1000 August is the best time to sell that, so we'll probably just hold on to that for a while. I've also added in the time saving stock, so it kind of tells you when the best price is to sell stuff. So yeah, August would be the best price to sell that, March, March, whatnot. That needs to turn into silage, and then we'll wait for a good price on that. Hopefully we can get a good price here soon, but yeah, so that's just an update on that. Let's go ahead. What we're going to need to do, we need to get some more logging done because as you can tell, we are completely out of wood chips. So that's going to be our main priority today is trying to get some wood chips. So if we head up here, we can go ahead and just start chopping down some more trees. I feel like that's all I ever get done doing is cutting down trees, but it has to be done for us to move on. So... We can't go any farther than what we log. So let's go ahead and get this. Oh, no, put it up. And it doesn't really have to be on a perfect pile because I'm just going to pick it up anyway and put it into the uh, wood chipper. So I'm not worried about the pile being too perfect. All this is just going to get chipped up. I know this is a bigger log, but I feel like if we're producing paper, we're going to make more money than what we would if we were just selling off the logs so I'm just gonna take any like size trees and just chip them up it's not really too big of a deal so I'm just gonna stack all these up right here and again I gotta be careful not to drive on to the field although right now I don't think we'll damage it I do want to try and stay off of it but um, I do have a comment question of the day for you guys so should we add in precision farming to this gameplay series? I'll leave it up to you guys. I'll wait to read the comments before doing it. I think it would be cool to do it, but I mean, I don't really care if you guys say yes or no. So I'm leaving it up to you guys to decide. So let me know if we should add in precision farming or not. Okay, so I cleared out this little area right here. We had a pretty decent pile of logs here. These are the logs that are too big for the chipper. And I don't know how long this has been full for, but I just realized that there was no wood chip shooting in here. And that's because it's clear full. So we are gonna head on up here and try and we'll try and make it to town first of all to even get these sold off, but or not really sold off, but into our production, I should say. But yeah, um, this is quite the load, and last time we were struggling, so this time we probably definitely will struggle. We'll see how bad it is. Hopefully we can make it. If not, we might have to put a bigger engine in the tractor or something. I actually chipped up a bunch of wood that didn't get into the trailer, so I don't know if I, whenever I go back with the empty trailer, if it'll fill up or how that will work. We might have just lost like three logs, but... That'll be okay, I guess. All right, so we slowly made our way up here. We were going two miles per hour up that big hill. And there for a while, we were down to one mile per hour and the tires were spinning, but we are here. So let's go ahead and get this unloaded. I think we will just go ahead and take full loads because, I mean, it just kind of makes more sense. I know it is a lot of weight for this tractor to pull, but it's not too, too bad. I'm going to get that dumped in there. I think I... Did I turn off the production? Nope, it's still running. So yeah, if you watch, it runs through this so fast. It's kind of crazy how fast it goes through this. And while we're here... Well, how how much space does this have? It'll hold 30,000 liters. Yeah, it only has 2,000 liters in there. I was going to push those pallets out of the way, but that'll be fine. Not too worried about that. So I'll go ahead and head back down here. 
I'll probably get another load chipped up and then we may go ahead and cut the grass because next month is December. I think, yeah, next month is December, so I don't think we'll be able to cut the grass in December and technically it is ready to cut now. We're not going to get the best yield off of it, but at least we'll get something. So I think what we'll do, actually looking at the time, it's already 3.30, so it's going to start getting dark soon because it does start getting dark around like 6, 7. So I think we should actually get going on that. So I think we'll get down here and then start mowing and then I'll get back to wood chipping because I can do that in the dark. I'll just turn the lights on, but I don't want to bail with you guys in there and mow all that up with uh, it being dark and whatnot. So that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and get a cut of grass just in case we can't get a cut in December because I feel like technically you shouldn't be able to cut the... Uh, hay in December or grass field so that's what we're gonna go ahead and get into All right, let's go ahead and grab the mower and it's actually doing really good on fuel and repairs we've cut the grass what three times I want to say this is gonna be our fourth time I think and yeah I mean we only have 0.8 hours on it. it's not like we're using it a ton but it is doing fairly well so I'm very please with that aspect of it because I know the tractor it runs out of fuel quite fast I don't know about our new tractor how that's going to do hopefully that one doesn't do too bad on fuel so far it seems to be doing pretty well but again we have not really put too many hours on it but I mean we do have a decent amount of grass here it's not terrible I think what I'm actually going to do I did, I do think I mentioned it last episode, I think what I'll do, I'll bring the cutter over here and cut all these down and then just move the trees over and chip them up instead of having to drive everything down here to do it, I think that's what we'll do. We could even expand this field out to like where I'm cutting at right now, because I mean we're cutting this close anyway, but then we'd have to reseed it. But, I mean, that really wouldn't be too bad. And we do own the plow, so it's not like we'd have to lease the plow to do it. So maybe we will end up doing that and just expand this field out just a little bit more. Just so that we can get the maximum yield out off of it.
Alrighty, so I believe that you guys just saw a time lapse. We got 11 bales off the field. I went ahead and wrapped them. So I wanted to get them wrapped before night so that it would ferment over the night time. This is still at 98% fermenting. So that we'll probably end up selling that off this episode, maybe next episode. Let's see. If we take a look, I think actually silage is best in December. 189 yeah so right now it's actually the best price so we'll probably sell it this month and then we have these that are fermenting but what i want to go ahead and do oh wow we actually have a lot more pallets of ooh, this stuff here uh, olives so we'll have to get them we'll probably sell them off our crops are growing up pretty good got another pallet uh what happened to our two pallets that were sitting out already we didn't what in the world happened to our two pallets? I definitely, we definitely did not sell them off. And they are not here. So I am going to go ahead and cheat. Well, not really cheat, but where is it at? Let's see. Farm products, general. Oh my, this is going to take forever. It would be in the O's. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Olive oil. We need to spawn two of them because we had two of these pallets sitting right here. And now they're gone, but they're back. So, there we go. We'll put them there. It's really weird that they just disappeared like that. Hmm. Not really sure. Um. Oh, yeah. And another thing. All the logs that I did chop up that didn't go into the trailer, as you can see in the bottom right corner... It all shot in there once I brought the trailer back over here. So we do have some wood chips. But what I am going to do, I am going to go ahead and knock out those trees over there. I'll probably do that off camera. And then I'm going to go ahead and chip up another full load of wood chips. If we take a look at our production, where's our production at? These guys are all doing good. That's doing fine. Um... Honestly, we're probably out of wood chips. Yeah, already out of wood chips. So this is going to be a full-time job trying to keep up with that. Probably won't be able to, but we'll see how much money we're making off of it. Actually, I need the tree harvester. Right, let's go grab the tree harvester. Drive that over there. But yeah, we are definitely going to have a full-time job trying to keep up with that. It might be a little bit of a pain. But what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to do this off camera. I'm going to cut down those trees that I talked about cutting down. And then we're going to come through with the plow. And since the grass field was just cut, we might as well just extend it out a bit. And then whenever we harvest these two fields up here, we'll expand them out to about right where I'm driving at probably. Try and get them up as close to these trees as what we can. So... I mean, we could go the whole way over, but it would be weird just having, like, this cliff here. So, we're going to just go to about right here. So, I'm going to get these taken care of, and then I will bring you guys back in whenever I have another load chipped up. And whenever it's time to go ahead and plow up this field, and then I think we'll wrap up the episode. Okay, so, I just cut down some trees, and this is going to look very, very different. So... Yeah, I went ahead and I knocked down all of the trees here because I have an idea. What we're going to do, I'm going to plant rows of trees. I was even thinking about maybe taking down these trees or at least some of the trees over here. But I just haven't got that far yet. I just figured I would do this and then... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Give me a second. Let me just get these kind of over here piled up out of the way I don't really want these over here I ran into an issue on the edge of the map but yeah the trees weren't very straight and they were like all over the place so I went ahead and I just took them all out and what we're gonna do we'll probably end up buying a tree planter and then I may get rid of this tree I don't know I feel like this tree will probably go maybe like this tree and this tree I kind of want to keep all the spruce trees just plant up a bunch of spruce trees, so I might take these out and then plant a couple in here because this area is a little bare. And then these behind the shed, I like these, they can stay. That one behind the house, that one's going to go. But yeah, we're going to plant some trees, so it's going to look weird for about two years in-game, which is going to be a long time. 
but eventually we're going to have a nice row of nice trees growing up there and then as we go that way more we'll continue so i think i don't know let's just take a look at how much the uh, tree planter is we're not going to buy one at least not today we're not in this episode so 26,000 that's actually not bad honestly it would be nice to get a bigger uh, wood chipper because this wood chipper definitely struggles. This one would be nice to have, but we just don't really have the money for that right now. But yeah, so I think what we'll do, maybe next episode we'll buy this and go ahead and plant some trees. I don't know how many it's going to take. We'll probably just buy a bunch of the pallets. I mean, we always could run up and grab more, but yeah, we'll worry about that next time. For now, what I'm going to do is get all of this either chipped up or sold off. So that's all going to happen in between episodes. But I think we're going to go ahead and just wrap up now. I'm not sure how long this video is. But yeah, by the time next episode comes around, I hopefully will have all of this picked up and get all these stumps out of here. Then we'll plant trees along and then we'll plow in a field. So I think we're actually going to be able to bring the field out to about... I think I want to bring the trees aligned with that tree. I don't know, let's just, wonder, am I in flight mode? Let me go into flight mode here and just kind of scope out what I want to do. I might actually take, well, yeah, if we go off of this tree, so we'll probably go off of this tree and then just go a straight line up that way. Just have a straight line right in line with this tree. I probably will actually get those, like, um, I think they're pine trees. I'll get those pine trees taken out. And then we'll plant some trees there as well. It is going to take a while for them to grow up. But once they grow up, I think it will look good. And then we'll probably take that one out and that one out. We'll figure something out. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button. And subscribe down below if you haven't yet. And yeah, turn on the post notifications as well if you haven't already. So that you don't miss any time I post a video or go live. This has been CNS Gaming. Thanks for coming and watching.